people. I'm just here doing a bit of work on my latest wreath painting and I thought I uh, might as well jump on live so you can watch what I'm doing. By the way, I'm Gabrielle and I love to teach people how to paint, especially when they don't think they can. So thanks for jumping on. It's a bit cold and rainy on a Friday night here in Perth, so I figure a lot of people are going to be at home keeping warm. So if you're at home keeping warm, oh, good on you. Actually, I meant to get myself a drink before I came in here, but of course... I didn't, so never mind. So my plan with this, this is going to be the in-person paint party. Hey, Julie. Um, oh, it's hot in Brisbane. Of course it's hot. The line's just one. <laughs> um, this is the painting that we're going to be doing for the in-person paint party in November. Kind of coincides with Remembrance Day and also coming into Christmas. So you could make it a uh, Remembrance wreath or you could make it a Christmas wreath, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to be doing... I want to keep it to red and pink flowers, if I can. <laughs> I tell myself this, and you never know. There'll be all sorts of colours on there any second. But I'm going to go with that plan to start with. Now, yeah, on a cruise. So when I'm doing this poppy, I want to try to cover all the white. Um, because there's no white and poppies, it doesn't matter if I go over it a little bit. Actually, that'll give it a nice kind of dark edge. Just going to fill the whole thing in. It looks very bright from, from there, doesn't it? Uh, and I'll add a bit of cool red. This is warm red. I'll add some cool red to that later. I think this one is a poppy as well. And now that I think about it, I should have added more. We'll just see how we go along. <laughs> That's how I roll or cruise. That's correct. Uh, no, this one down here. Can you guys see down the bottom? No, that's where the comments are. I should have made it a bit higher. What if I turn it? I will or turn it upside down. That's a bit better. So this one is going to be a poppy. Notice there, no particular shape. Flowers are great, you know. No flower is perfect. Well, and yet all of them are, if that makes sense. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about making them perfectly symmetrical because we all, we can all look at them all at different angles. So they don't always look perfectly symmetrical, even though we know they usually are. Looking good. Thanks, Pippa. <laughs> she's my biggest fan. Well, maybe she's not. Hmm. Is there a bigger fan than my best friend? <laughs> um, we'll soon see. Some of you know it was my birthday this week. It was also Pippa's birthday this week. Our birthdays are one day apart. But next year I'm turning 50, so we're planning this amazing mystery adventure for my 50th, which people are going to have to get involved in if they want to without knowing what's going to happen. <laughs> if any of you remember that show from the 90s, was it? Don't forget your toothbrush. That's the kind of vibe we're thinking of. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, I think that was all the poppies that I put on there. See, it kind of needs one over here. I'm going to make this blob here a poppy. Saying the word poppy makes me think of something. Does anyone remember this? Poppy? Why can't I see the animals? <laughs> if you remember what that's from, tell me in the comments. Well, we used to have what they call forests. <laughs> any, ringing any bells for anyone? Oh, I reckon this one can be a poppy as well. There we go. Now it's kind of a bit more balanced. They look wow, they look really orangey red in the in the in the screen. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, we're gonna do this one for the in-person paint party on November, I think it's the 15th, it's a Sunday, the Sunday after Remembrance Day. 
So anyone that is in the paintbrush club, the Periwinkle Paintbrush Club, can come to this one as part of their membership. Um, and if you're not in the club, that's totally cool. You can also buy a ticket and come along. But the Paintbrush Club doors are open at the moment. So if you're thinking about it, this is one of the paintings you have the, ch the chance to do in November if you join the Periwinkle Club. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of the Cool Red in those poppies, just a little bit. Let me show you. This is, I look like foo. <laughs> this is the warm red and this is the cool red. So warm looks more orangey and cool looks more pinky, if that makes sense to you. Now I'm not even gonna wash the brush. I'm just gonna get some of the cool red on there, just a little bit. And put a little bit in the middle of the poppy there and maybe just to kind of show where the petals go. I'm not being too precious about it, just a bit of a blob and a bit of a wiggle. Blob and a wiggle. That could be a great motto for life. Just a bit of a blob and a wiggle from time to time. <laughs> you know, like drop and roll, is it drop and roll? <laughs> blob and wiggle and smile. And cut. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add a bit more pink. I've got a gorgeous bright pink colour called Pinky, funnily enough. And these round ones, I'm going to turn into roses. I'm just crossing my fingers as I say that. I'm going to turn them into roses. Oh, look at that. It really does look like a rose. <laughs> there is a bit of a rose technique, which I have done on a few occasions. So that was my intention. Look at that. Now, if I bring it up close, you can actually see it's like a white circle with some pink lines on it. When you put it back here, it's really starting to look rosy. When that's dry, I'm going to go in and do a lighter colour pink or maybe a darker colour, I'm not sure. In between on the white. About that. I used to live in Brisbane for, a, for oh, how long was it? Five or six years. That's not why I'm following the team though, it's a bit of a family thing. And they just did really well tonight, so that's a bit exciting. Now, hey Deb, how are you? Here we go, there's another rose for you. Deb's in Melbourne. <laughs> Indoors. Jules is here. Hello, you love painting the rig. Yeah, this is a new one um, that I'm doing for the next in-person, not the next one, the in-person paint party that we're doing in uh, uh, November. So for Remembrance Day. So I'm going to put a word across the top here. Probably joy. <laughs> um, so this is the one that we did before for Anzac Day. That's the one Jules is talking about. So very similar. But just a bit of a different spin, different background. I'm going to put a word across the top and make it maybe a little bit more Christmassy um, or remembrancey, whatever. Deb's all good. All things considered, yes. I feel for you. Feel for you, Deb. But, you know, what are you going to do? Just a little bit of a pandemic happening. <laughs> I have got some members of the um, paintbrush club in Melbourne, so at least they've got stuff to do <laughs> while while the world's going crazy outside. Have I got another rose anywhere? No, I only did three. Oh, actually, what I've done, I've got little... You never know. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in. Is that light enough? Well, kind of. Bring another circle around on the inside of this one. Now remember, I did that the other day. That's what it looks like up close. So that's a bit skew with. Um, we did the red the other day, let it dry, and then I'll come back to do a lighter colour row of petals. And actually, what I should have done 
He's gone in the middle, that's right. This one will look better. This is how we learn. I'll show you up close and you can tell me which one looks better. It's an artist trick. If you can't twist your arm, twist the canvas. Yeah, Deb likes in between one, so do I. It looks a bit more realistic and, you know, we're going for realism. We're not going for realism. <laughs> I never go for realism. But honestly, I think the, the reason I never go for realism is because I think it's too difficult to, to make it look realistic. And uh, one of my art teachers said to us once, what's the point of having a... A painting that is really realistic and looks like really looks like what it's meant to look like like a building or something you could just take a photo so allow your art to be more abstract more of an interpretation you know change the colors around and make people sort of think a little bit when they look at it so I really love that idea probably because I think doing realistic work is too hard <laughs> Dania you like the in-between as well yeah me too I'm gonna go back over this one because that's kind of, yeah, there we go. Much better. And now I'm not sure about the shade of pink, but anyway. The beautiful thing about acrylics is if you don't like it or you want to change something, you can just paint right over it. So forgiving. A friend of mine posted on Facebook. She's um, a friend of mine from years ago that lives in Sydney. Um, Katie. I'm talking to you if you're watching this. She's taken up um, painting as well. We were laughing because <laughs> look, look at both of us now. Neither of us, neither of us even talked ever about painting years ago when we were friends in Sydney, and now we're both doing painting. And she posted today that she's she took up painting and she decided to use oil paints because that's what professional people do, <laughs> not realizing that lots of professionals professionals use acrylics as well. Um, so she was just laughing about some of the things she didn't know that she's learnt along the way, the hard way with using oils. So there we go. Let me put, put those up close again. So I, I'm, I'm liking them better. They still need work. Another awesome thing about painting flowers is when you put the, the middle bit in, you really need to learn what that's called. What's the middle bit of a flower called? I don't know. Um, when you put that in, it really makes them pop sometimes. It makes them really look like a flower. So that's always a fun moment. Now I need... I'm feeling, oh, I've got one more poppy to do. Right. Where was that? Down here. Go back in with my warm red. Let me flip it so you can see what I'm doing. Just this little one here. I'm just covering up all that white that I put in the other day. Now, I have um, a girl, oh, I can't remember her name. Oh, that's a bit sad. She hasn't been for a while, but she come, came to my in-person classes for a while. And we were doing a, uh, a painting one night. Might have actually been the Poppy's painting. And halfway through the night, she told me she was a florist. <laughs> so I immediately felt intimidated because I thought, <laughs> she's going to know what Poppy's really look like. <laughs> um, but she was gorgeous and... Painted some beautiful, beautiful poppies anyway. When I actually started doing my poppies paintings, we were doing we were doing these beautiful big poppies with five leaves. And then somebody Googled it one night in the class and said, hey, poppies only have four leaves. <laughs> so what we'd we'd really been painting red for Angie Pennies, so <laughs> but it didn't matter. They all look like poppies. People all love their paintings. And it's an artist's impression. Remember what, remember what I was just saying about things looking um, realistic? <laughs> that was my take. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. That's, that's annoying me. What's the middle of a flower called? We got pollen. I know what pollen is. And the pollen sits on the thing in the middle. I thought the stamen was like, 
if there's like a, a thing sticking out of the middle of the flower with the pollen on it, look, that was the stamen. Interesting, hey? Who wasn't paying attention in school? It's not that I wasn't paying attention. It's just that I was talking through the whole lesson. So no wonder I missed it. I'm sure I heard it. It just didn't stick. It didn't stick in my mem memories. All right. Going in between all these pink lines that I did with some lighter pink. And we'll see how we go. See if it even... Shows up. It's looking pretty from close up. It's, it might need to be a little bit darker though, I think. The pale pink. I filled this one in and there's one I haven't filled in yet. So it doesn't actually make a lot of difference. I think it needs to be a little bit darker pink. So let's take care of that. For the next one actually because that's still wet now flip this around so you can kind of see i know i'm a bit far away from the painting but like i said a little space i'm going to be reorganizing things on the weekend what i really should do is take everything out of this room start from scratch that would be cool now that is probably a bit better could even go a little bit darker again. Yeah, it's way better than that one. So let's try it with the last one, a little bit darker. As long as it's not as dark as the original colour, we should be good. All right. And once the paint dries, it's going to look a little bit different too. So, I think, I think the darker pink is definitely better than the lighter pink. So that one is going to get another coat tomorrow when it's dry. Or oh, maybe I'll try it now. Might be a little bit too wet though. Yeah. It's not too bad. Better than it was. So there we have it. Just try another layer of these petals. It's probably still a bit... I oh, know it's working. I was going to say it's a bit wet still, but it's not too bad. I think the colours are too 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 different from the red to the pink. It's a little bit too far of a difference. So I might have to correct that with a bit of yeah, a bit of darker red over where I went before. It's almost like you're in my head while I'm painting. Your internet crashed, Deb. Yeah. Don't you hate when that happens? I just upgraded my internet today because it's been just so slow. So in a couple of days, it's going to kick in and I should have whiz-bang internet then. Sometimes when I do my Facebook Lives, if, I, if I'm on the home Wi-Fi, they, they just come out jumpy and they're just not that good. So... That's partly why I upgraded. Can't be having people watching me live, especially when it's a um, virtual paint party. Nothing worse. 
So we've upgraded the internet. So you might notice, if you can see, I had already done a little white dot in the middle of these little pink flowers, and now I'm just completely going over it. But guess what? I could just do another one later. It's just, sometimes it's nice, like I said, to put that middle bit in, the middle dot, the, the pistil or whatever it's called. Whatever name they've made up that I don't believe. Um, it's nice to put that in. It just gives your brain a little help to piece the, piece the flowers together. See how I'm using the opposite end of the brush? You get beautiful little dots when you do that. So I love to do it. And I'll do some in here. Just to help my brain see what's going on. Now these ones, they're on the side. They don't really have it. Mm, that's about it, I reckon. For now, just a little bit. Look, I might as well keep going. I said I'm going to put baby's breath on, so I might as well just do a few. There is a trick with using the other end of the brush. You've got to wipe it off often. Otherwise it gets clumpy and then you don't get nice dots. Dots are fun, aren't you Dot? <laughs> Dot was on here before, so I don't know if she's still here, but Dots are fun. And I'm not really, I'm just doing a few little patches of dots. No real shape to it, but you know, baby's breath can be a bit Random. That makes it actually look a bit Christmassy, doesn't it? Mind you, the wreaths at Anzac Day and Remembrance Day, they had baby's breath as well. Because it's so pretty. I might hang up the brush now. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for jumping on painting with, well, watching me paint for a little bit on a Friday night. Um, I'll come back tomorrow on the weekend. In the I should come back and say, look how much I've moved my space around. <laughs> see how we go but i'll come back and do a little bit more painting maybe on this maybe on something else have a chat to you guys if you want to jump on and if you don't that's fine totally fine um i will see you again soon whatever you're doing make sure you have fun doing it <laughs>